This episode is part of our Australian India Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Cheeky Monkey West Coast IPA. from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing another one of the Margaret River craft beers. This one is from the Cheeky Monkey Brewing Co and this one is the West Coast IPA. Cheeky Monkey is one of the new brew pubs uh, that's opened up in Margaret River in the last few years. It's a place where you can go and have a, a meal um, if you're on a wine tour rather than going to one of the um, the vineyards and having like a more expensive meal. It's a better meal at the Cheeky Monkey brew house to be honest. Um, we've been to a few of them. It was founded as recently as 2012 and the good thing about Cheeky Monkey is that it's still a family owned business so it hasn't had like any big investors come along and take the thing over. And I think it, uh, the company itself benefits from the fact that it is one of these like smaller companies if you visit the, the venue they uh, often have some of their like smaller batch beers um, on uh, to drink and that you can get the usual tasting paddle and you can buy any of the beers that they have on on sale and they they often also have some of the smaller batch beers that you can take away i think i seen last time they had a, a scotch ale if you don't know what a Scotch Ale is, look it up, because they're really interesting. They also do a couple of different IPAs. Now, they do the West Coast IPA, which we've got here, and also the East Coast IPA. Now, when it comes to West Coast or East Coast, when we talk about IPAs, what we're talking about here is USA. So the IPAs first started to appear on the West Coast, and they have a clear style, which is what this one is. And over east, like a New England IPA, is more of a cloudy style. Anytime you hear West Coast or East Coast, it's not talking about Australia, it's talking about USA. So malts, pale, Munich and Carahel, and hops, Cascade, Amarillo and Mosaic, which is pretty standard. Uh, this particular one, it's a so it's an IPA, it's a 6.5% volume. So remember, an, an IPA um, is just a stronger version of a pale ale. So it's an India pale ale. Remember, they had to make the beer more robust by adding in alcohol and then increasing uh, the, the amount of preservatives in there by adding in extra hops. And they changed a, a pale ale to an India pale ale so that it would survive the, the journey by sailing ship from England to India back in the days of, um, of the British Empire. I've tried a few of the Cheeky Monkey beers. I've liked each one that I've tried, um, but this is going to be the first time I've actually tried the West Coast IPA. We're looking for orange zest, passion fruit and mango. And also it has firm bitterness and a resinous mouthfeel. Well, we'll find out. Okay. Very clear, very pale, lots of small bubbles. Oh, I'm getting aromas from this one already, well done. Quite a deep amber orange colour. It's got a small, there you go, tiny, tiny little bit of cloudiness, but it, it is mostly just um, a clear beer. And we've got a small... Uh, quite a light head on this one. So I'm definitely getting some aromas from this one. What does it say we need to look for? Orange zest, passion fruit and mango. Well, let's see if the powers of suggestion from the website actually follow through. Oh, there, there's a huge amount of fruity citrus in this one. Uh, orange zest, maybe. I should probably sample this without reading the uh, what's on the website because now um, with the power of suggestion I'm getting both orange zest and passion fruits coming through on this one. Oh, but it, it just means that there's a lot of hops and the hops are well done in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and just for the um, good measure, I am getting mango as well. So, well well done, Mr. Mr. Cheeky. Mmm. Oh, that's thick. A malty and quite heavy. Not an, a huge amount of zestiness in this one. There's a slight bitterness, but the main feature of the taste of that then was like the, the thick malt, sweet malt. Oh, this is a complex beer. This is 
value for money this beer is. There's a grapefruit at the background on this one, but the grapefruit is very much overwhelmed by the the sweet malt. It's a thick malt. It's a heavy malt. I mean, it's it's like a 6.5% one, uh, but they must have extra malted this one with uh, even more sugars. So the the way they make a stronger beer is they, they literally increase the amount of sugar that they put into the brew as they make it. And the idea is the yeast tends... Uh, the yeast's got more sugar to work on and produces more alcohol at the end of it. But I think they've probably cut this one off in part way through the brewing process in order to keep the beer sweeter. Oh, that's excellent. That That's a really nice beer. This really hits my sweet spot on beers, the type of beer that I like. Because I do like a big, a malty beer. I like lots of bitterness, but I also like lots of sweetness in there as well. I definitely do have a sweet tooth when it comes to beers. So we've got some, we've got bitterness at the back. We've got an overwhelming sweetness. So the, the biggest um, hit on this beer is definitely the, the sweet malt. Um, the aromas are not as strong as some. It's got plenty. It's got enough. Uh, it's got more than enough aromas to go around. So they've managed to really well balance this beer. This is they've done really well with this one. So Mr. Mr. Monkey, or can I call you Cheeky? I never know. Right, I think I think we'll call him Cheeky. They, Mr. Cheeky has really done a good job with this beer. Uh, it it's just got a good combination of everything. It's got a complex flavour, which means that you're getting value for money. But they've hit just a nice balance of the amount of aroma, the amount of sweetness, the amount of bitterness. This is actually one of the better beers that I've tried in recent months. Give this one another go, see if there's anything else. Mm. On that taste, I'm getting more bitterness and less sweetness. So as your mouth um, and as your brain gets used to the flavours, you need to try something different to get the flavour back. And the best beers, like this one is just an excellent beer. Because they have a complex taste, because they have complex aromas, then each time that you taste it, you get more value from that glass of beer because you're getting different sorts of flavors coming through so it's not just like a, a really basic um, that's the taste of the beer go on with it and just swig it back you savor this one this is definitely a beer that you would have um for on literally this is a special occasion beer this is just so good uh, i would recommend this one just to be um, sipped slowly it's not a swig back beer it's not one that you can just quaff instantly on a hot day because of the amount of um, thick uh, sweet malts in this one uh, but it is a beer that you can take your time over um, have a taste enjoy the flavor explore the flavor have another taste and find something new in there it it's it's really good Now I'm definitely going to have to go out and buy the East Coast IPA to try it and compare it with this. Another one of the Margaret River beers, the, there's a lot of craft beer uh, microbreweries in Margaret River. I think there was 12 of them at the last count. Every single one of them is worthwhile trying. Um, every single one of them that I've tried so far, the beers have all been excellent. Uh, you get excellent hospitality when you go during the daytime and have a meal. And... Uh, they're doing such a good job. They've got um, better water quality than what we've got here, like a few hundred miles further north in Perth. Better climate for making beers. And it, it just shows. But I, I think this Cheeky Monkey West Coast IPA is coming out as one of my favourite beers that I've had from the Margaret River region. So, yeah, it's really good. Thanks for watching.